Hello everybody and welcome to 3D Printing Passion. Today I show you how to get a perfect supported object. Hello, today I will show you how to get a perfect object which is in need of support and there are a few settings needed that you can reach that. Uh, the first necessary thing to know is the distance between the support structure and the object in set high need to be somewhere between 0 0.2 and 0 0.24. If you go lower, then you will be more or less not able to get the support structure away because it will be more or less glued to the object. If you go higher than 0 0.24, then the structure is too far away from the object and the layers will fall down a little bit and the object will not look nice anymore. So that's the reason why you need to think about how to print with support structures. And that results that you are limited in the layer high. So you must be somewhere between 0 0.2 and 0 0.24 or you go lower to 0 0.12 because the support structure distance need to be a multiplier of the set layer high you choose. So I will use here the standard layer 0 0.2 and if we go down to the support structure menu you will see here the most interesting part and that is the support set distance. And this distance you see here is also 0 0.2 on top distance, button distance. I have it on all the points. Let's have a look. As you can see here on the ear, we see that little gap between the support structure and the object on the ear. And that's exactly the necessary point. You see there is one layer distance and this will result in a perfectly removable support. There's another thing you need to think about it and that's the distance in X and Y. As you see here I'm using a layer wide of 0 0.4 so that's not so necessary in that point like the layer high but it gives you a point where you can start on. On my support XY distance, I'm using here also a 0 0.4 distance. Of course, you can go a little bit far away from that point, like for example uh, with 0 0.8, or you can go a little bit down to 0 0.2. But also here, you should go not lower than 0 0.2, because it will be melted together otherwise. Let's have a look on that point. I will increase that to 0 0.8 and we can have a better view on that distance. And you see that distance will be absolutely okay, but in some times maybe you will have a problem. If you need to support very shaky parts, which are very thin, then you should decrease that value on the Z and Y distance to ensure that it will not fall apart. And now let's have a look to the printed object to see how good my support was working. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. If you have some comments, leave it below. If you like to see more from me, thank you for hitting the subscriber button and click on the bell to get more videos from me. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye bye.